I don't really like to talk about criminal stuff that I, you know, criminal activity. I don't really like to talk about criminal activity because criminal activity is not something that you talk about. It's something that you kind of participate in. Feel me? And then you get paid and you can kick back and like enjoy your life. That's kind of why criminals are criminals because they kind of just don't want to be that slave or whatever. Feel me? So I can just tell you a little bit about game, okay? Like the best thing to do, like say you're selling big weight of dope or whatever, just say if you're doing it, this is the best thing to do is to line up the customers first. Usually those customers that would buy something of that caliber are like contractors that have construction companies and big equipment, farmers, contractors, developers, architects, stuff like that. Those are mostly the drug dealers in the world, okay? Because they need the money fast and they're in debt, okay? So then you would probably go down to like maybe the plug, I don't know, wherever you would go to get cocaine. I don't know where you would go to get cocaine, but if you were to do it, you would go down directly to the people. Now when you approach the people, you would have a Mac 11 in your jeans like this. With an extended magazine like this, okay? Now a Mac 11 and possibly maybe a Caltech with an extended magazine are really, or Uzi, that's what you would use as well. These are common guns and with gang members because what happens is, is there's gonna usually be about 10 or 15 people in a room in a small quarter and they're designed to, to go off quick with hair triggers and about 11 people are gonna go. So, you always bring a Mac 11. A Mac 11 is a tool of a gangster because there's a couple of reasons. When you have it like that too, out your pants and stuff like that, okay, you gonna get respect because they're gonna know you ain't playing but then you always assure them, like, hey, like, they're always going to clown you. They're going to say, hey, w you don't need that. You crazy. They, no, you need it amongst gangsters because they're going to sidewind on your weaknesses. Like in jail, they're going to sidewind and they're going to forget about your ties and everything that you are about. Even if you've been, like, you know, working with them for a long time, you know, so you, like the warden or the cops or whatever, you got to always put the fear of God and one up on them. And that's due by having high artillery weapons. And that's in any war barbaric culture. So if you're approaching these type of people, you want 357s, Mac 11s, and they're going to leave you alone. They're going to leave you alone. They're going to respect you. The essay going to respect you like in narco culture. You know what I mean? They got the gold ones and stuff. They're like all armed up and stuff. They're going to leave you alone. You got respect. Because that's the respect of the culture. Okay? So you can't be in two cultures and be like, now I'm a Christian. I'm not in that culture. But when I was in that culture, you can see my videos. I had bodyguard guns, nigga. Okay? And I survived. Okay, so that's the game of this culture. So this game, this, this song is, I just wanted to let you know that. You know what I mean? If you're going to sell the open stuff, you're going to have that Mac 11 sticking out, what's cracking. And you're going to assure them you're not going to use it, but you just want They're going to respect that. They don't want to take the risk and they want their money. And have the money straight. And you have your money. Whatever you do, anything in business, you don't get loans and stuff. You have the money there and you do it right there. So you don't have to deal with these folks anymore because the folks are either liabilities or assets. Okay, so you don't ever want to take loans from these folks. You don't ever want to get fronted for anything from these folks. You want to, the way you're going to please these folks is you're a man. You, your money is straight. All your shit is straight. You're a man. That's how you're going to get respect. How are you going to get that money and all that? You're going to work three jobs. You're going to hustle. You're going to put on a bitch all at once. See me all at once. You got a bitch. She bad. You got three jobs. You hustling. All at once, nigga, that's called a triple up. You always going to hear me in my music and we'll triple dip on everything and we'll triple up. Like, you should listen to all my 600 songs. We won't tell you what's cracking. So here, Mac 11.